I'd say 2003. Uh, a local fire on a, on a Southern California forest. It, it, was a, it had been a campaign fire by this point. Uh, and I was, uh, I don't know, second or third season in and, and up in the front of the line with the, the saw group. And, uh, we were putting in a piece of what, what we thought was indirect line. Uh, the briefing we had received that morning uh, from our soup was that we were going to have, you know, all of our safety stuff was in place, so to speak. We had our, we had a couple of lookouts, a safety officer and a division supervisor were going to play, uh, be our lookouts for the day. And uh, we had already pre-identified our escape routes and safety zones. And uh, our, our assignment was essentially to cut a piece of indirect line from a little camping area up to uh, the black so that we could uh, start going direct and, and start suppressing this piece of the, the fire direct. So as we progressed, the, our indirect line was probably only, I don't know, 300 feet worth. Uh, we, we had progressed up the line uh, and got probably within 25 to 30 feet of, of the black. And uh, one of our captains, just on a hunch, one of the more experienced captains had probably had about 23 years at the time uh, of straight hot shot time. And uh, he had just kind of got hit with one of those hunches, uh, so to speak, and his curiosity got the better of him and decided to take a walk uh, out to, toward the main fire to see what the main fire was doing and, uh, because he had smelled something funny. And uh, as he progressed on out toward, toward the main fire uh, through the black, uh, we had received three, three messages probably within five minutes of each other. Uh, and, and the first one was, uh, the first one was hurry up and finish cutting the line, tie into the black. Uh, the second one came shortly after that was get it tied in now. And the third one was finish punching P line to the black and get the crew up into it. Uh, because what had happened was for whatever reason, our lookouts had not communicated the way that they should have. Uh, and the main fire, or the, uh, another chunk of the fire had started to stand up a little bit and was essentially wrapping around our piece of indirect. and. Uh, so we had a couple of our drivers uh, take off down the hill, the rest of the crew went up the hill and sat in the black for a little while and our drivers went down the hill and moved our crew carriers to our pre-identified safety zone uh, and sat in the black for a little while. They essentially ended up having to uh, light a little bit around the safety zone just to kind of lessen the impact, so to speak. They would have been totally fine, but increase the rest of the resources comfort levels that they were sitting in. And, uh, from that day to this, uh, the crew has made it standard practice that we don't rely on other people as lookouts, we use our own.